Hi, thanks for watching the video. This video is about patio design. In this video, we are going to share with you lots of latest patio design ideas and also we'll give you a few tips for better planning related to patio. This video is going to be little long because we are going to share with you lots of designs and also will give you very much useful information and tips related to this topic. So, patios are outdoor spaces that can be designed and utilized in a variety of ways. They can be used for dining, entertaining, relaxing or as an extension of your indoor living space. When designing a patio, there are several factors to consider, such as the size of the space, the desired function, and the overall aesthetic of your home and yard. Here are some tips to help you create the perfect patio design. The size and shape of your patio will depend on several factors, including the size of your yard and the desired function of the space. If you plan to use your patio for dining and entertaining, you will need a large space than if you plan to use it for relaxation. Consider the shape of your yard and any existing landscaping features. The materials you choose for your patio will depend on your personal style and budget. Popular materials for patios include concrete, covers, natural stone, and wood. Concrete is a durable and affordable option, while pebbles and natural stone offer a more natural look wood is also an option but it requires more maintenance than other materials. The layout of your patio should be functional and aesthetically pleasing. Consider how you will arrange furniture and other features on your patio. Leave enough space for people to move around comfortably and ensure that there is enough seating for all, all guests. Lighting is an important element of any patio design. It can create a warm and inviting atmosphere and make your patio more functional at night. Consider adding string lights, lanterns or other outdoor lighting fixtures to your patio. Landscaping can help to soften the edges of your patio and create a more natural look. Consider adding plants, flowers, or even a small garden around your patio to enhance its beauty. The furniture and accessories you choose for your patio should be comfortable, functional, and stylish. Consider adding a table and chair for dining, a lounge chair for relaxing, and a fire pit or outdoor heater for warmth on cool evenings. Designing a patio requires careful consideration of several function factors including size, shape, material, layout, lighting, landscaping, furniture and accessories. By following these tips you can create a beautiful and functional outdoor space that meets your needs and enhances the beauty of your home and yard. There's a lot to consider when it comes to planning your perfect garden patio. You have to think about how you may intend to use your outdoor retreat, the paved retreat, the paving you will use, the right furniture to fit the space, your budget, any additional cost you will incur the list goes on. Designing a patio layout should be determined by how you want to use it and therefore the furniture it will house. So if you plan to entertain regularly, you will want to consider various patio furniture, a dining set, a lounging set or both. That will help you make the most of space. You will also want to consider how big you need the furniture to be. In other words, how many people you might want to regularly host on it and whether you need to incorporate patio cover such as hagolas. Then you need to plan for the negative space on the patio or the gaps and spaces between the furniture and the edges of the patio. Ideally, you want these negative spaces to be 3 feet or 1 meter wide. 
This gives you space to comfortably move around the patio without it feeling or looking cluttered and especially if your patio is raised or terraced and doesn't have red railings. The simplest way to design a patio that suits your ex needs exactly is to draw it out to scale. That way you can plan in patio planning such as beds, borders and pot positions right from the start and even factor in space for any outdoor kitchen you may have. Using a rope, you can create the boundary of your patio in your existing yard too. To double check its dimensions, whether you are spacing up to your garden to increase the value of your home or create a usable space for your friends and family to enjoy keeping the main objective in mind will ensure and keep your budget firmly on track. When you start plan, think about the best position for your patio. Where does the sun sit in your garden at the time you are most likely to use it? Also consider how you can take advantage of any views you have or alternatively create a private retreat so you can enjoy relaxing in your garden without being overlooked. Whether you are planning a cozy space for two, an area for the family to dine, or even an outdoor kitchen for entertaining size is key. Ensure the furniture you have or are looking to buy fits the space perfectly. A great way to add zones to your patio is to create separate levels with tap areas. You can also create zones in more cost-effective ways by using plants combined with features such as having circles, walling and edging. The way you use to decorate your home and design your garden is a reflection of your personal style. While incorporating your individual tests, remember to be sensitive to the style of your house too. A modern house will suit more contemporary having styles, while traditional having lends itself well to period properties. Knowing what you want to spend and tracking your purchases is an important part of the planning process. Whether you need to account for a professional landscaper or you want to splurge on new planning, setting a budget at the start of the project will mitigate your or any overspend. Using a professional will ensure that all the necessary groundworks and building regulations are covered. Put pen to paper and draw out the garden to even the most basic scale. Having it in front of you will help you plan your patio and white garden more effectively. At the end of this video, we want to request you to please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.